What's up, Cleveland? It's your girl, Tiffany Marie, coming to you live in effect at the Player T Show, hosted by none other than the man himself, Mr. Player T. I can tell you what you can do with those cell phone and laptops. Tune in. Come and check us out every Friday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Where you can check it out? PlayerTShow.com. Professional fighter gunner man Matisse right here. Yeah. Now, now gunner man, uh, you didn't made it this far, and you made it through the amateur ranks, man. But we want to shine a little light on that. You know, somebody brought that up and it was a good point, man. Give us a little background on on the journey to the pros. Like, who were some of the coaches that got you prepared for the profession? Well, I came out the uh, Bob Davis, and then you know Bob Davis and Clint Martin, which is they both deceased right now. But you know, big shout out to them guys. They was my starting coach. And, uh, you know, after I left from over there, you know, Coach D from Starvation Army on 59th and Huff, they shut the center down over there. That was actually the best program they had in Cleveland. But uh, it's married with a lot of – everybody that's somebody in Cleveland now, they came from Starvation Army, you know, pretty much. So, uh, other than that, I mean, Coach D, you know, he was a good coach. I, I said, give a big shout-out to him. He did a big help. And then my coach now, which is Push Davis. Push you know, Davis. Yeah. He's, he's from Cleveland? From Cleveland. He's yeah. Bob's son. You probably seen him. I told you, Mill Dance, you watch Bad Grandpa? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's Bad the Grandpa. one piece of advice that seems to be the constant in your fights thus far that sticks in your head when he yells the instructions and starts speeding? It ain't really no instructions with me because they know I go out there and handle business. So once the bell ring, you don't really hear him saying do this, do that. Unless I'm, <laughs> unless I'm playing too much. But other than that, they just let me go out there and do what I got to do. Right, right. Oh, so he, he, he does he tell you like it is in your corner? Hey, hey, gunner oh, man, yeah, he man. He you, ain't you know that me. last round you didn't look too good. You know, losing the fight, you need to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, we go through that all the time. We, we oh, man, you ain't do this this round, but I'll be in there. I'll be knowing like he might say, man, I think you lost that round. You were doing this, you weren't doing that. He's coming forward, but I'm the fighter. I'm in there, so I know if he hit me or not, and you feel me. I mean, yeah, you got some some judging be terrible in sports now, so you know yeah. you don't really want to let it be you know close, close. to where you know because. Right. They can get some. They they put out some crazy decisions, but. So what is your style like? Is it style by win by points, you know, and I'm a finesse, or I want to win by knockout every trip, or I'm a feel it as it goes. I got a flashy type style. People think I fight like Rory, but like Rory Jones, but actually my style is as an amateur. I was that's why I do fight. I just want to go out there and just score points and win because knockouts don't count in amateurs. Okay. But pro, no, I need to knock out everybody that get in there. For what reason? Because you just want to stop? Yeah, knock you out. Oh, yeah. I just want to stop. I want to yeah. knock you out so when I get out, they about to hand me that check and I'm about to keep rolling. You know, I don't right. Now, simple as that. You can look at fighters like Floyd, you know, that made tons of money oh, man, doing, yeah. doing what you're doing now. And he's retired, undefeated. Have you learned anything from his career that you think that can oh, make he had a, help? He had an awesome career. Uh, I actually don't. I like Floyd, but I don't really look behind Floyd. It's a lot of stuff that he do that I don't agree with, but. You know, as far as now, he make he he like one of the main reasons he did a lot for boxing though. But he like the main reason that all these fighters is really just fighting for the money now, or he'll tell you not to fight this fight because it ain't worth a lot of money or this money. But if you the champ, go out there and fight. If he can't beat you, go out there and prove he can't beat you. You know, so it's a lot of stuff. But as far as his career, he had an awesome career. I mean, he made money. I don't think no fighter ever makes as much money as he made. So, you know. On the promotional side, did you learn anything that some of the things you may m maybe need to do to sell your fight? To get your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to be – it's all it's still an entertainment business, so you got to be entertaining. Or, you know, be, if you're bored, you know, anybody want to watch and you make less money. So, like, a lot of people don't like Adrian Bonner, but he put – he's selling tickets. He put butts in them seats. So, you know, that's all that counts in the day. Are you a student of the game? Do you oh, follow yeah, the I watch everybody. Boxing? I watch everybody. Here's the old fights, mini fights, amateur what about fights. I still go to all the amateur fights. Class, like, like heavyweights. I, I watch heavyweights. If it's on TV, I ain't going to look it up. If it's on TV, I watch heavy, heavyweight fights. Yeah, well, I, well, you know, they just had the Tyson. Klitschko. Klitschko. Klitschko, he's been dominating the heavy ranks for about 10 years, and he just got beat by uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. He just mm -hmm. followed us, too, on Instagram. Big shout out to Tyson Fury, too. He's seen a promotion, with us promoting your video clip. And you oh, okay, then. You go, follow us on Instagram, play a T-shirt. We got a clip of him handling his last opponent. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? 
you know, dropping him and stopping him and Tyson Fury liked it though, you know, he fought for him. So oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a big up to that, oh, man. Thanks, you got man. big Definitely. champions watching you, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's big. So um do you seek to put on a show when you see people that you recognize in the audience? No, actually, I just, my style of fight was entertaining, period. A lot of people say that. Like, man, I just like to watch you fight. I don't do it for the crowd. It's just the way I fight. It ain't like I'm really in there just trying to show up for the crowd. It's just the way I fight. So, mm-hmm. and they just catch their eye. They're like, man, you talented and this and that. Like, uh, actually, I met Triple G uh, manager. He was at my last fight. I didn't even know he was in there. Oh, yeah? After the fight, he like, man, you only want to get skill on this fight. And you a great fighter. You know, I got his oh, number. Oh, that's what his thing. manager said to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, uh, that's got to be. To hear that coming from somebody like that, that's got to make you feel good and energized. Yeah. yeah, he like, man, you should be on TV fighting right now and all that. But, you know, it's in the making. You know, I'll be on there. So, I ain't in no rush. You got to have patience in this game. Yeah, that's what's up, huh? Not lacking no confidence. Oh, no. What keep, what keeps you, you know, because the, the sport is about handling adversity. That's the ultimate sport, right? Boxing is you got to handle that adversity right then and there by yourself. You ain't got no help to help you handle that adversity, you know what I mean? You Do you love that challenge of facing the adversity, making it through it, and pulling out of it? Because you got dropped in the first round of last, last fight, and you turned around and dropped him and pulled out the fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could I had him hurt multiple times in the fight where I could have jumped on him and got him out of there, but I figured not to take a risk of him dropping me again, and I might have lost the fight. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you told me that. You told me that. You ain't want to risk so so and you're going to going at it and that was my first time getting dropped but i handled it well you know i got up you know i ain't never experienced that so did you learn something from that oh yeah you gotta learn you learn for everything what you did know? you learn from being dropped in that last i mean fight? first thing i learned to keep my hands up you know i don't i keep i know how to keep them up but he caught me put my hand down at the time right on the button bang and you know i went down but i got up so, so that's what you learned keep them hands got up. to got to that's that's the money so right when there. he hit you and knocked you down money. did it was it an anger thing? Like, I got to get this. Oh, no, you can't get mad in this game. Didn't get mad. That's important to know. You can't get because, mad. Because, you know, stuff can happen, man, out in the street. You get mad, you get up, and you, you go out there, and then you be put to sleep, you know. Cause you when is your next fight? Uh, Actually, I ain't sure yet. Like I said, I'm going out there to Vegas to talk to them. I, might, I know I'm going to fight in January. Though. I asked you for the fight tomorrow, but the promoter called too late. You were supposed to fight I wasn't tomorrow. Gonna, yeah, I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You just had a fight a couple weeks ago. Wednesday, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, so that's how that goes. You can just be par. Yeah, when you're on this, when you're on this on this level, they fight you a lot until you get up there to the big stage. You might be about two, three fights a year. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. And you yeah. ain't got no problem with the turnaround. You just fought two mm-hmm. weeks. Ago. I, I, I was mad because I I forgot to call the promoter back because I was out. You know, I was out celebrating the victory, chilling. And I forgot when I finally called. He let me. We already put it through finalized through the commission. So I'm ah. like, hey, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah Donna. Now, what, are, are you looking forward to them big-time press conferences, you know, as your name continue to grow and you, you I mean, able to you put on a show? Oh, yeah, you don't, don't have to enter, you don't have to be entertaining, so you got you to be entertaining. So, yeah, when them, when that day come, you know, I ain't going to say I'm going to be like, you know, floor agent, but I want to be myself. I want to build my own legacy, but I'm not going to be just no boring dude. You know, I'm making people want to watch, you know. You know what, one thing, man, I, oh, oh, to see Floyd and Adrian's relationship, always knew that they were going to eventually clash. You know, they was too buddy buddy. You know, what what do you think about that? You know, Floyd clash with everybody. Man. You don't see it, man. He clash with everybody. He arrogant, he ignorant dude. Man. Ignorant, ignorant he dude. cool. He cool with his little circle, his little people. I'm telling you, he ignorant dude. Yeah. Ignorant dude. Yeah. So if he came back, you wouldn't have no problems going after him too. Come on, fighting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love to fight. That's that check. <laughs> 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 we ain't running over here, baby. Ah, right, what you know about that? You want to know more about Gunner Man Matisse? You know, visit our website. You're watching this now. Continue. We're going to have some more up on Gunner Man about his next fight and everything like that. Give it up. Gunner Man Matisse. Doing it for the hood. Play a T, that's me. Oh.